How far did you get with your education? I made it to like 11th grade and I got kicked out of school. So I just went and got my GED. And for time reference, it's June 2021 now. For sure. Now, which schools did you attend growing up, from elementary to high school? I went, I went to a private school, Joshua Christian Academy. I went to Reebok. I went to Grand Park. And the only schools I went to, jo Joshua, Reebok, and Grand Park. And which one were you kicked out of? Reebok. And was the first school you gave us the only private school, the rest were public? Yeah. Okay. Now, what kind of kid were you in class, generally speaking? How would you describe oh, yourself? I've always been funny, but like, I'm smart for real. Like, I'm not no dumb person. That's why I, when I got a kid, I, went, I just went and got my GED. Like, so I've always been like a funny person, but I, I did get, got my work done. I just got a kid out for like fighting and stuff. Would you consider yourself a class clown? Nah, cause class clowns like be like just doing stuff for the class, like doing them. Like nah, I'm just I just chill in class. Like, but I be, you know, if you sit by me, like you know what I'm saying, we vibing. Like that's just what it is. Where do you think that stems from? This funniness that you have. My whole family funny. <laughs> My whole family funny. <laughs> All that's crazy. So, who's the funniest in your immediate family? Uh. I'm gonna say my cousin, my cousin. <laughs> like, I grew up with him, so like we always been like joking and stuff, so. You wanna put a name on it or? Yeah, my, my cousin Tommy. And is that a cousin on your mother's side or father's That's side? That's a cousin on my mama's side. Now, when it came to fights, why would you get into fights? Oh, cause you know, people ain't like, you know, we, see, we was like from the other side of town and we went to a school on the other side of town. So like, you know, people ain't like us cause that, you know what I'm saying? So we knew everybody else know each other from middle school, all that stuff we knew. So, you know, we just getting into it with people, you know what I'm saying, fighting. Would you initiate fights or you were defending yourself? No, I ain't, I ain't that type of person. I ain't out here just looking for, you know what I'm saying, problems. Like, nah, but if you stuck that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we was yeah, handling everything. Is that what led to get you, is that what led to you getting kicked out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to stay fighting. Yeah. Anywhere, anytime. Early in the morning, at the stove, up the street, it's going down, wherever. <laughs> Could any of these fights have been avoided? Nah. Because sometimes you just got to, like, in certain situations, you just got to, like, hold your own. You got to show people, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it be sometimes, especially in Jacksonville. Ever involve teachers, hire faculty? Your to, parents. Wait, in fights? Yeah. Nah, nah. Why not? Cause like, I don't, they ain't got nothing to do with that. And I don't, I don't get people involved. If I feel like you ain't got nothing to do with the situation. I'm not going to involve you in that. That's it. That ain't real to me. Even when it comes to higher authority. Yeah, like getting them involved in the fight. Nah, I ain't even trying to fight no higher authority. <laughs> like, I ain't. Well, getting them to prevent these fights or stop these fights from happening. Oh, no, nah, I ain't trying to, like, no. Nah, I'm not trying to get a, uh, looking for somebody to save me from a situation. No, nah, like, because I'm a man. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to handle mine. Now, before you get expelled, I assume you were suspended. Yeah, actually, see, at the school I was attending, we have a school. When they kick you out, you go to alternative school. It's called Grand Park. You see what I'm saying? So when I was at Reebok, they kicked me out every year. So... But they always sent me to the alternative school, and I ended up, like, I actually liked the alternative school. See what I'm saying? It was actually the best school I went to. The school was easy. You know what I'm saying? Then you got new people coming in every week, so it's like new girls coming in every week. So I'm like, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? So you get sent there. Like, so I got sent there every year until when I got, when I, uh, I, at EOS, basically, it's like a Senate, so EOS Grand Park. I tried to go back to Reebok, they said, nah, man. My last year, they was like, nah, we can't take you back. So matter of fact, I did actually go to another school. It was an alternative school. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but I went there for a couple months, and it really didn't work out. Like So that's when I just went and got my GED. 
would you ever get in, into fights at the alternative school itself? At Grand Park, yeah. It stayed going down at Grand Park. I ain't gonna count Grand Park was wild. But it was fun though, like, it was fun for everybody. But you never got kicked out of the alternative school? Kicked out of Grand Park? No, I ain't get kicked out of Grand Park. You get kicked out of Grand Park, it's over with. So my question to you then is, why would the public school kick you out over fights, but you would still get into fights at, at the alternative school, but they didn't kick you out? Because the alternative school really like the last strike. You see what I'm saying? And they ain't trying to like, because like I said, once you get kicked out of Grand Park, it's over with. So they're not just trying to like kick you out and like have you not doing anything. So they'll accept like a couple fights. You see what I'm saying? But if you just out here wild and like, you know what I'm saying, they're going to kick you out. Did the fights ever stop throughout your school career? No. Did the fighting ever stop? No. Nah. You fought every year. Yeah, we stayed fighting. It was just like that, like growing up. Like, that's how it was for me. Like people was doing a lot of fighting. Now, how did you learn how to fight? I say like, like I ain't gonna count. Like growing up, I always wanted to be like. Uh, uh, when I was a jet, I wanted to be a Power Ranger and shit like that. Like late night, I used to be up. I used to be watching all uh, like the little karate shit coming on that bitch. So I'm like, now you know what I'm saying. I always knew how to fight, but I ain't never really get into like a lot of altercations growing up. You see what I'm saying? Cause I'm a cool kid. Like I ain't never really get into that. Like you know what I'm saying. So when I did though, like it's just like I already knew. Like I know how to defend myself, especially like being around my friends. Like you see what I'm saying, and going to like parties and stuff. Started fighting. So I learned how to fight like that. Remember your first fight? My first fight? I actually don't remember my first fight. That's crazy. No matter of fact, yeah, I do remember my first fight. We fought at the fair. Yeah, we fought at the, uh, had this thing in Jacksonville called the fair. And we fought there. I was like 11 or 12 or something. And that's just how it was. We were just fighting, so, yeah. What happened in that fight that led to it? Nah, and just kids being kids, you know. That's just how it was. Just you fighting just it was just like a hobby back then, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just fought. It, 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 we don't even we don't even know them. You initiate or defend? Nah, I don't I don't like I said, I don't I ain't no like aggressor or nothing like that. I don't be I just looking for trouble. Like I was just with my friends, they get into it, I'm a rock for my friends. When it came to fighting, would you fight fair or dirty? Oh, no, I fight fair. I fight to fit the situation. That's what I'm going to say. I fight to fit the situation. If I'm outnumbered, I'm going to fight dirty. But, like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, man-to-man, -man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to give you a clean fight. How do you, how dirty would it get? Oh, like, I'm getting jumped? Yeah. I'm doing everything. You're not just going to jump me. I'm going to kick you in the nuts, punch you, try to poke your eyes out, all that type of stuff. And still feel like that today? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Ever sucker punch? Yeah, I did. I did. Draw this dude in the cafeteria, I never forget. I don't sucker punch a couple of people. What is your opinion on that now, sucker punching? It was like, if my homeboy fight you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you just off guard, that's your fault. You slipping, like, that's your fault. So if I steal you or drop you from my homeboy, that's just what it is. I don't, you know what I'm saying? If I get caught slipping, that's just what it is. Like, I don't even call it no sucker punch. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get caught slipping, you caught slipping. Like, I'm going to point it all the time. It's going to be hard to sucker punch me. What's the worst you've injured someone in a fight? I mean, let me see. I don't want to. I mean, I can say about that. That's probably the worst thing you could do to somebody, so. What ended up happening to him? Nothing. He just dropped, knocked him out. It was all right. You ever end up seeing that person again? Yeah. And what happens? Oh, nothing. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody stupid. You don't get knocked out again. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, what's the worst you've been injured from a fight? Um, Let me see. I got my, um, I don't know if it, I'd say it's, I'd probably say my 
I mean, then, when you get hit in the nose, your nose be bleeding. So I ain't gonna even say that. Like, that's easy. Like, I'm saying, like, the worst I probably been injured in the fight, one time I got jumped when I was in jail and, like, my cheek was swole. I ain't gonna cap. My shit is swole. Do you think it was broke? No, nah, I wasn't broke. My shit was just swole. <laughs> but never been knocked out? No, nah, I ain't never been knocked out. I ain't never been dropped or nothing like that. Have guns been pulled in a physical fight? Nah, I don't know. I don't pull out no guns. Like, it's like nah. Physical fights. I, I'm a man, bro, so I respect a, a fade. You know what I'm saying? Agree. Like, I'm a man, bro. If you be like, bro, I want to fight, I'm going to fight you. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect that. But have guns ever been pulled on you in a fight? Vice versa. Nah, ain't nobody doing nothing crazy like that. Ever worried about the possibility of death from a fight? I ain't going to really put myself in those situations like, excuse me. I be seeing a lot of like stuff going on with people and this like that. But that's, I always say to myself, don't put yourself in a situation to where you have to, you see what I'm saying? To where a gun gets involved or anything like that. Just don't put yourself in those situations. Like, if you can't, it's some stuff you can't avoid. But if you can avoid it, try to avoid it. Don't just, you know what I'm saying? If you know who you are, like, and you know you will this person of this status, don't put yourself in a situation to where you even have to involve yourself with that type of foolishness. But never worried about, and this could be for your sake or for the person you're fighting's sake, were you ever worried about landing wrong? Maybe landing on asphalt or, or concrete or hitting your head on something or... I haven't, but like hitting somebody like, you know what I'm saying, I'm knocking them out like, oh, anything, like I always be like, you know what I'm saying? Dang, you don't want to you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go too hard or, like, accidentally do anything. What did fighting, what did that entire experience teach you? What did you learn from it? Just thinking back on all your fights in the past, what did you get from it? Fighting, yes, certain sir. people, like, it gives me, like, a certain amount of respect for you. Like, if I see you, like, even if you get beat up, you know what I'm saying? But if I see you get in there, like, if I see you... You're not going to let nobody, you know what I'm saying, bitch you or ma make you into the little person or, like, whatever, whatever however you say it. Like, I don't know how to say it, but, like, I respect that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to get in there, however many times, like, yeah, I respect that. It gives me a certain amount of respect for somebody. Ever end up becoming cool with someone you fought? Yeah. How does that happen? All right, let me see, like, who I got cool with. I mean, like, growing up, like, all right, we used to have problems with some people. We used to fight them all the time. Fight just all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because they up the street from us. We just always fight them, fight them, fight them, fight them. You know what I'm saying? Now that we older, like, ain't nobody worried about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? People trying to get money, families. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even and in jail, too. Like, say you fight somebody. At the end of the day, y'all end up doing time. Y'all got to live with each other. You see what I'm saying? You got to live with each other. Unless y'all going to fight every day and be beefing with each other every day, that's how you get, like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying y'all cool, but y'all ain't finna be fighting every day and trying to argue. Don't nobody want to do their time like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gain a certain amount of, not respect, but like, just like, you know what I'm saying? So is it ever you initiating to them, hey, it's all good over here? Or is it them initiating to you, you know what? We cool now type of thing. Sometimes it just be like a mutual understanding. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, I know, like, this the smart it's the smart outcome of this situation. Like, ain't no point of us beefing because what's coming from it? You see what I'm saying? We ain't making no money. We ain't about no money. We ain't about this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes stuff could just be avoided. So most of the time it just be a mutual agreement. So have you end up making money or friends with someone you actually fought with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different in any of your fights looking back? In any of my fights? Yeah. Um, nah. When you were in school, were you part of a certain crowd? Actually, like I said, me, we went to school across town. So really, it was just me and my brother at first. Like, We had a certain homeboy. We had our homeboys ended up coming. You see what I'm saying? But at first, it was just me and my brother. So it was really, never really no crowd. It was just me and my brother. Biological brother? You just using yeah, the phrase brother. brother. Yeah, it's been a beans. You guys are biologically related. Yeah, same mom, same daddy. It's my little brother. 
How much older are you? I'm two years older than him. And who rapped first? We started rapping at the same time, just in my grandma's house, just all of us, just freestyling, me and my cousins and my brother. Grandma on your mother's side or father's side? On my mom's side. Now, I want to talk about music a little bit further in a second, but when it came to any of the schools that you attended, did anyone that attended your schools end up becoming well-known or famous themselves? Um, we got a couple, let me see. We got a couple of female basketball players. Like, we had the rawest basketball team in Jacksonville. So, like, a, a couple of them went to WNBA. I don't know their names, though. But besides that, got me, my brother. Um, like, celebrity-wise, nah, nah. And uh, when it came to you and your brother, would you guys ever have the same class by any chance? No, we ain't never had the same class. <laughs> How often would you you would you did go to the same school? Oh yeah, we always went to the same school. How often would you see each other during a school day? Every day, every every break, like every break in between class, we're gonna always link up. Now let's talk about music. Did you ever take a music class in school? Yeah, in private school. Now we used to uh, have to uh, play the recorders, the recorders. We used to, have to play them, and then, um, the repo. I took what was that band? I think that's what it's called. How far did you get with the band? I, I passed it. It was easy. But it wasn't like, I wasn't thinking about joining the band or nothing like that. <laughs> Why not? Some people do. Yeah, no, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, it's not that at all. I'm just saying, that's not me. Like, What was it, what was it about it that it wasn't you? Oh, if I'm going to play any instrument, it's going to be a piano. And the band, they play like, you know, drums and that type of stuff. What drew you to the piano? You said what? What drew you to the piano? Oh, actually, my uncle knows how to play the piano great. Like, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the church. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you know, them playing the piano, the organ. Like, I always loved the piano. And, like, I really like R&B music, so. Speaking of church, do you follow a religion? Yeah. Care to share what it is? I'm a Christian. Is it a certain denomination under Christianity? Um... I have my own understanding. I think people like, I think, I don't know how to, I don't really get into denominations. Okay. So, but I got my own understanding of like what I have going on with God. You see what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. And I know you didn't join the band, but did you make the right or wrong decision there by not taking band further in life? I made the right decision. I'm here, so. Uh, did you think, though, with the little bit that you did do with the band and the recorder and things of that nature with that other class, do you think this helped you with being a recording artist at all? Did you think yeah, those you classes helped? Yeah, you always music. Yeah, that helped you with, yeah, 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 for sure. Could you have gotten to where you're at musically at this point without it, though? For sure, yeah. Now... You and your brother did rap together. Yes. Did you, were you personally ever the type to freestyle or battle rap other classmates by any chance? Always. Some account at private school, that's all we used to do. Rap. Everyday lunch, beating on the table, rapping. In jail, rapping. Everyday, so. How good were you at it? I was always raw at freestyling. <laughs> I was always good at, like, rapping, like, especially with the flow, like, even if I'm not really saying, you know what I'm saying, the rawest stuff, like, when it come to flowing, I can always flow. I say something catchy, I say something that's going. Did you have a song you were promoting back then, when you were in school? No, nah, we ain't had no song we were really promoting, like, we dropped the song, it went crazy, though. We dropped the song, it went crazy, like, I think we dropped it. We dropped that in high school. We was in high school when we dropped that club. What? Fuck the sit up. Yeah, probably out of school. Yeah, we probably had an already got. Uh, I don't know. Matter of fact, yeah, we had got kicked out already by this time. They wouldn't let us back in school. So. Now, uh, when it was you and your brother, were you guys a duo at one point, or was it just solo artists that you two were? Nah, since we brothers, like we always been rapping together, like, but. 
we had a group back in the day. We used to call it BMG. It was just me, my cousin, and my brother, and my homeboys, like, from up the street. Like, yeah, BMG. And I was, like, our little rap group back then. What happened to BMG? No, nah, we all still family. I got BMG tatted on me. You see what I'm saying? That's my, that's my family. I got BMG right here. Care to got, share? Go ahead. I got that when I was a jit. You see what I'm saying? Like. I'm always BMG, like, that's my family, you see what I'm saying? But, you know, you grow older, like. But then we start another rap group, me and my friends and my brothers. We uh, really them my brothers. I ain't going to say my friends. Me and my brothers, it was the 187 boys. We still 187, you see what I'm saying, too, to this day. I got that tatted on me, too, you see what I'm saying? So, Where's that tat? I think on my neck. I don't know which side it's on. But it's on one of these sides. I do got a mirror there if you need it. Let me see what side it's on. Yeah, this one, that's a uh, 187 on my neck, but you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Care to share the meaning behind BMG? Oh, <laughs> we was just, man. We thought we were baller, man. Blow money gang, man. <laughs> we had no money, so it was a blow money gang. <laughs> yeah, man, blow money gang, man. Who came up with that name? My cousin. My cousin right there came up with that name. Uh, the one in the room? Yeah, he right. came up with that name. Care to share his name? Yeah, Big T, Thomas. Oh, Big T. And uh, he came up with the name, but whose idea was, was did he also was it also his idea to actually start BMG, or he just came up with the name for it? Nah, yeah, he just like, oh, we BMG. I was like, for sure, like, that were all. You, you were the leader of it? The leader. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't want to say, <laughs> say that type of stuff, but... We yeah, he the CEO. We were family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We in entertainment, so he's the CEO. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Sometimes, when I mean leader, I mean, like, sometimes there's somebody in the forefront that's, well, That's know, our big cousin. Okay. So he was, he was, like, the oldest, so. And and when I say leader, it could be a natural leader. Somebody that yeah, just. I see what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying. You know, it kind of represents everybody or, you know, kind of directs everything, organizes everything, that sort of thing. What about... Wh- 187 Boys? Yeah, the 187 Boys. Who came up with that name? We came up with it after we made a song. We made a song named 187. And it was so raw. We was like, we the 187 Boys. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to make a rap group. We the 187 Boys. And we made it. So, like. And uh, ever participate in talent shows growing up? Yeah. Actually, I did one time. Um. They used to have these talent shows in the mall back in the day. And my mama uh, took us and stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna count, like, I used to watch You Got Served. I thought I was, you know what I'm saying? I used to think I was, uh, I used to think I could dance and shit. She took us to the, uh, the shit. I was dancing and shit, you know what I'm saying? We did that one time. That was a long time ago, but, like, that's, probably, that's the only talent show I think I ever did, yeah. And how far did you get with the talent show? Shit, they had wrote my mama and shit. Like, I had took pictures and shit. Like, they took pictures of us and they, they wrote my mama and was like, they wanted, you know what I'm saying, me and my brother to come, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? And then, but we never, like, took it farther than that. Really went. So, so, did man. you actually do the show? Yeah, it was in the mall. Okay. So, did you win? I don't think they, they really didn't have, like, they did, like, some shit. Like, you know, they was trying to be nice because all of us was kids. So, you know, they, like, had some shit with, like, I don't know how to explain it, but they had like top five and it's five people won, like some shit like that. I, I won, though, me and my brother, we won. Like, top five? Yeah. And was it music that was the actual talent for you guys? Yeah. An original song or you covered a song? Uh, We did that. Uh, it was a song called, uh, damn, what the name of that song? I forgot the name of the song. It was, a, what the name of that song? It was a dancing song, like. See, I'm from Florida, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we grew up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a dancing song. I forgot the name of it, but some raw dancing song back then. Did you play any sports growing up? Yeah, yeah. I played football, basketball. I played football and basketball. And did you take any of those sports serious? I was so raw at football. Yeah, I was raw. I was super raw at football. I took football serious. How far did you get with it? I started playing part one, and then, like, 
my um, I don't know, man, my knees. <laughs> I sound like an old man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened to my knees, but something happened to my knees, so I had to stop playing. Like, when did you actually stop? What grade? Um, mm, like right before high school. Right before high school. Did you tear something in your knee? Nah, I don't. It wasn't nothing like I got injured or nothing. Like something just wrong with my knee. Like I went to the doctor. He was like, you got to chill on football. I chill, and then, you know, after that, I ain't never start back playing. No sports? No. Nah. What led to football for you initially? Why that sport there? Because, see, when I was growing up, we didn't have all, like, them, like, phones and all that stuff like that. We went outside. Even when we did have phones, we was outside. We didn't have touch screens and stuff like that. So we was just, everybody, that's how you communicate. You don't write each other on social media, you go hit the block and whoever out there, that's how y'all talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just playing, we used to always link up and play football with the boys from down the street. I always link up, play football, basketball. So I always love sports. And which sport came first? Was it football as well? Football. I love football. I never, and it's crazy because I don't watch football. Like I don't watch sports at all, but playing sports, I love playing sports. And you were better at football than basketball? Yeah, I was good at both, but football, I was so fast, like, and it was hard to get me down. You see what I'm saying? You ain't just getting me down, like, you want to work. What position were you? Running back. Did you have a jersey number? Yeah, I was number 25 when I played for one team, and then I forgot what number I was at my school. I forgot what number I was at my school. Yeah. You played for the school? Yeah, I played for my private school. And I played for, um, like, they had, I played for, uh, it was two different leagues I played for. I played for Pop Warner. That's like a different league. And I played for, I forgot the other league I played for. I forgot the name of it. So you played this, You played for the school and you played for two different leagues? Yeah. I like football. But I just stopped playing. Now, I know in high school, they have junior varsity and they have varsity, but that private school, did they have some sort of organization there as well or no? No, nah, we used to play other private schools. Were you a starter when you played on the school? Yeah, for sure, always. Was there any significance of that number that you had, 25? Oh, yeah, I used to think I was Reggie Bush. See, my number, I mean, my name, Reggie, my real name, you know what I'm saying? So I used to think I was Reggie Bush, I think I was the rawest person on earth, so. And how far did that private school get versus the other private schools? Oh no, we don't. We don't win a championship a couple of times. Now, the knee injury of some sort happens to you. Did that devastate you at the time? Yeah, I was hurt. Like I really liked playing football. Like, and I felt like I tell you, I feel like whatever I do, I feel like I'm. I'm trying to be the best at it. And when it came to like playing football, it was too raw, man. Like. Well, hard, but like, did you see yourself being in the NFL? Was that a goal yeah, for if you? If I kept playing, yeah, I would definitely been in the NFL. Looking back on how everything played out, do you wish you would have rehabilitated of some sort? Do you wish you would have been able to play? Would did you wish you would have yeah, pressed that would, issue? Yeah, I wish I would have played. I wish I would have played. I don't think too much would have been different. I would have just played football, but I know the doctor told you to chill out. But why didn't you press the issue after some time had gone on to because you loved it so much? Why didn't you just not, you know what I'm saying, not focused on the right thing? Do you regret that? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you learn, you live and learn from your mistakes. Does that sport run in your family at all? Football? Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone in your family go far with it? On my daddy's side, they did. I forgot his name, though. He was in the NFL. He played for the Eagles and stuff like that. My daddy's side. He's my cousin. my real cousin. I just can't remember. Tino's? He lives in Lido's Shepherd. There you go. Lilo Shepherd. Lido Shepherd. Lido Shepherd. Yeah. Like my daddy's side, they the Shepherds and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you actually kick it with him? Did you actually? Nah, oh. I ain't never even. I don't even think I never even talked to him. But yeah, that's my cousin. That's my cousin, though. But I ain't. Now you end up dropping out. And when you drop out, was it that alternative school? 
No, I, I actually, they, they let me out of the alternative school, and I tried to go back to my school, Reebok. And they was like, nah, it's over with. I tell you, they, they put me out three times. <laughs> and when I tried to come back last time, like, man, nah, man, we can't. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I tried to go to the other alternative school. What is the name of this school? Biscayne. Biscayne High School. It's like it's like a little school for people who basically got kicked out. I, I went to Biscayne for a couple months. I ain't really work out. So I ended up um, just going to, it's a college in Jacksonville. Went there, took my GED test, just got my GED. How soon after you've, you're out of the school situation before you get that GED? Was um, there was there a certain amount of time of a break? Yeah, it was like probably a, a year later, seven, eight months, something like that. I know it went right after I got out of school. Some people stop. They don't go for that GED. Yeah, I mean. What yeah. motivated you to get that? My mom, my auntie. Like, I, I really, I wanted to get it for myself, but, like, I just had I just, like, I love, like, you know what I'm saying, making them happy. So, like, my family mean everything to me. So, like, I'm like, let me go, you know what I'm saying? I know that's going to put a smile on their face. Like, I didn't graduate, you know what I'm saying? But at least I did something. I got my GED, so. Was that hard or easy to get? No, I tell you, I'm not a dumb kid, so, like, (laughs) it was easy. Passed the first time? Yeah, I passed the first time. So, looking back... Well, let me ask you this. So, you you do drop out? Nah, I didn't just drop out. I tried. Oh, oh, matter of fact, yeah, because I, I dropped out of this game, so yeah. So, I'm a little confused. Just okay. kind of clarify everything there towards the end. Okay. Um, you get kicked I, out I, of... I, 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 no, I got kicked out of Rebound, went to Grand Park. I finished at Grand Park. I tried to go back to my regular school, like I said, because... At Grand Park, they sentenced you to a couple amount of days. So I tried to go back to my other school, and it was like, we can't take you back. So I went to the another another alternative school for people. Like It's kind of like drop back in. Like So tried to go there. Didn't work out. That's why I just went and got my GED. Now, why didn't Biscayne work out? It's it's a computer school. Like It's not like real classes. You work on the computer all day. I really wasn't like feeling it. So you actually drop out of Biscayne? Yeah, I stopped going. Yeah, and then that's when you get the GED Couple after months, that yeah, break. Yeah, later. Yeah. Okay. Now, looking back, do you wish you would have just stayed with that? Uh, do you wish you would have just stayed with Biscayne and graduated from Biscayne and not gone the GED route? No, I wouldn't made a difference. What did this entire experience teach you? What school? Yeah, school. Dropping out, getting the GED. School taught me a lot. Like it taught me a lot about friends, people, females. This is how like it's a life lesson. School is a lesson for like. So it taught me so much. Like I don't really know like <laughs> when it started, but it just taught me like I say about everything. Like taught me a lot, especially like high school. High school was like a, a lot for me. So, were there any thoughts on furthering your education after the GED? Yeah, my cousin, my cousins. I had a couple cousins, cousins that went to college. So I'm like, yeah, but then I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? I just had so much going on that time. I'm just like, man, fuck it. <laughs> I'm eventually though get a. Dep- I want to um like get a degree in something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm gonna get a degree in something. That's one of my goals. How soon is music taken seriously after you get the GED? I ain't about to take music serious till last year. So, so it was a long time. Like we made songs, but like I wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm finna just be this major rapper. Like, nah. But give us the time span after you get the GD. Right, I got my G D in the way in like 2016. You see what I'm saying? It's 2021. Last year was twenty No, I didn't take rapping serious till like twenty nineteen. Like serious serious, like boy, we finna be rappers. Like And happy with that decision there? For sure. Definitely. Love rap. Do you wish you would have taken rap more seriously a little bit earlier than 2019? I do. I do. Probably kept me out of a lot of trouble. If you could have it your way and do things again, what would you have done differently? 
nothing because I'm where I'm at right now. So I don't even want to say, like, because you never know. Like, God do everything for a reason. So what was your parents' reaction? Uh, I know you get the GD, but what was your parents' reaction with you not furthering your education after that? I mean, they were, they were happy that I got the GED and I started, like, working. You know what I'm saying? They seen I was trying, so that's what mattered to them. My family, like, I have a, my family loves me. We were very close, so whatever I do, they're going to support me.